Hello YouTube and welcome back to our 61st Unity 3D tutorial. So last tutorial we made the basic scene for our character customization and now we're going to begin scripting in it. The scripting will be quite long and won't be quite short but it should work fine hopefully. So what we're going to do is create a, a different script for each different section of it because then the script's not going to be so bad but then kind of well yeah it'll be good just wait <laughs> so I'm gonna go into my scripts folder and hmm create create a new one called character customization I never did change that I probably should have but yeah so create JavaScript and we'll call this hmm gender select there we go. Ow. So we've got that. We can now we can open it up and position it in here. Ignore all the other scripts up top. That's for a different project I'm working on. Um, yeah. So we've got this. There's two ways we can do it. We can either have a GUI button above, so we click it for male, click it for female, click next. Or we can, when we click on each one, it changes a string. And I personally think changing the string will work off better for us. Yeah. So we'll attempt that. So we can do this three ways. We can type um, var. We'll do it just like we did the main menu. So var ch um, is male equals false. Is female. Oh, female equals false. And is camera equals false. So these female one will be attached to the female, is male will be attached to the male and these camera one is to control the GUI so if it's the camera then the GUI effect will be up there. So up here we'll make a um, static in fact now we need another script. So we'll go to our player or entity and player in here we need to delete that from a previous tutorial, what messed up again. We'll create a new JavaScript and we need a script to basically store everything. So, what gender he is, height, well, he or her, height, size, power, stuff like that, names and stuff like that. So, we could use stats, but stats is full of like actual stats stuff. So, if we call it player, hmm, what's a good name for it? Just like attributes, that'll do. So we can open that up. Okay, before we open that up, let's stick all these spotlights into the walls. Because then we have a more space. There we go. Stick the floor in there and stick the treadmill in there. Perfect. And click off this when it lets me, because that's kind of annoying. There we go. Turn this light back off. So let's open up our player attributes. And we'll start by making some static vars. So static var, um, what should we call it? Players gender player gender and this will be a string capital S equals we'll start it off as a female I've always wanted to start off as a female in game yeah um, and we'll make these even as well because it'll look really weird if it's not even so two and five in fact, no six because he moves down by himself, and then eight, and same again. So f six, six and eight, and then for this one we'll say minus forty. That'll do. So select your character. So play it and just have a look. Yeah, that works. So open up a player attributes, static it like it was female, so we've got a female at first and if it becomes male we'll change it to a male. You could also use a boolean so if it's true it's male, thingy female, but eventually we'll add races and stuff so you can be an alien, dwarf, elf, stuff like that, yeah. So we've got that, let's go back to our gender select and get change start to on mouse up all capitals except the O. Um, on mouse up, if is male equals true, then that's where we perform the male code. So <coughs> player at re 
buttes, which I've spelled horrifically wrong again. Player attributes dot <coughs> um, player gender equals male. And duplicate this. Click is female equals true. Can you guess? Yep. Female. There we go. So now we can quickly just click, 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 click. Choose between them. Um, we will add it so you can change when you hover over it. It changes its effect, but that's later for effects. So function update. What we can do is change this to on GUI. And in here we will type if is camera it looks true the reason we're doing this is because if we didn't put this in and just put the on GUI on we'd have three things showing in on GUI at once and they'd be overlapping each other so when you click a button you could be clicking a button before that or before that if we do this is camera equals true we'll only be doing one camera I mean one GUI script yeah so let's assign it before we do because when we test it we'll completely forget so select all three of our objects um, gender select Right, let's see. Main camera is camera. Main male is male, and female is female. There we go. So let's go and tie start in here. So we need a group first. So GUI dot begin group rect. Hmm, this can be a simple rect. So zero zero screen dot width and screen dot height which gets your screens width and height which I think we've covered before and in here we'll just put a blank string because we don't need anything Ooh. yeah that's right I completely forgot where we put that bracket then um, and then below this we'll type GUI dot ends group and don't forget your two brackets on the end so we've got that now let's see or uh, what do we need first? We need a big label tech really saying choose your body type, choose your gender, that'll do. So GUI dot label rect um what should we do? We'll do it about two hundred I don't know. We'll do screen dot width divided by two. So it'll be bang on in the middle. So for that's for the for the X position and for the Y position we'll do it by fifty down. And size, we'll do it across 500, so it's got plenty of stuff if we need to add more. And Y, we'll turn it to 20. Um, comma, select, so select, select your gender. I'll do. So we select our gender, but now we need a next button. So disable this script, enable another script. Simple. So if, and this is where we add a button, GUI dot button rect. What should we say for this? Screen dot width minus a hundred. That should work. And the Y position will be screen dot height divided by two. Comma, what size should we have it? So 30 by 20. That should look right, I think. And then here we'll have next. We'll eventually put a fancy icon on it because icons are always cool. And that didn't work very well. There we go. So in here we'll type enable next script. Is that allow? Does it work? We need a way to tell, don't we? So in our function update, which we don't have one, we'll tap it in here. Function update. Here we'll just quickly make a quick print statement to print what gender it is. Um, so print player. Haha, I have it copied. Haha. Dot player gender print that so basically it'll print that and show us what we are now hopefully easy way than that just sort of a much better way we actually put it in here like so 
so now it'll tell us what gender we are whenever we click it, which will be far easier. So let's try it and see if we're actually working. So we select your gender, you go on the next button. So if we click this one, nothing happens. Click this one, nothing happens again. So why? Hmm. I'm thinking it's because we've got the GUI group on. So what we can do is disable the GUI group and test it again. Look at that, yep, it's because the GUI group was interfering with it. So, what we have to do in that case is get rid of the group, because the group's the one that's been messing with it. The reason we only do put a group there is in case we want to move it around, it just makes it easier than rather moving each individual component. So, GUI group, that should work perfectly. So we should be able to click on it now. In fact, before we click play, unclick, what we'll do is make our button longer. So 50 by 20, 20 was a good size. But I want it 30, yeah, 30. And the label, that was good. We will eventually have to attach a skin to it. We will do that soon. Select your gender. Click, click. There we go, and we can click next, and it'll go to our next script. So, what else can we do for the moment? When we click, it we need to move them forward. So, um, yeah. So, if it clicks male, what we need to do is get the character called male. So, game object dot find male. Have we called it male? Gender male. Gender underscore male dot transform dot position so we change its position and we'll change its z axis equals so what do we change it to so if we just get the male for now copy his a position don't worry about that for now and um, move into here so that would be a three so we change it to three so from eight to three equals eight now let's see what no, it's not eight, it's three. There we go. We changed female to three. To eight, I mean. Yeah, so eight. So when we click on one, it'll move him out, move the other one back, and vice versa. So let's just test that before we implement it to both. That's it, so that one works. Let's add it again. We'll eventually make it slowly walk out, but for now we just making it hop out. We'll do effects later. Get the build of it done first. Click, click, click. There we go. So we can easily select which character we want. Male or male or supposed to be female, female. Then we can click next. So let's defaultly make our female stand out because it is default on female. So female or male. Click, 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 click. There we go, so that's quite cool. So what we can do is click next when it's done. So um I think that's it for this one. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Next tutorial we'll make the camera move, carry on with the next one, and see you next time.